So this will be an infield review of Action Target's Tactical Torso Reactive Steel Target. If you're watching the Nut and Fancy Project, it's fall 2013. Finally getting around to reviewing this. I've been shooting on it for, heck, a year and a half now. There's PFI, by the way. Hello. This will be your first time, right? First time on this target. Yeah. You've been busy. Yeah, we have getting that new store opened up about did us in, but we're there. It's opened up and ready to go. Women's lingerie, right? Yeah, yep. Tactical toys. What? What's, really? It, yeah, well, another video. Okay, we'll cover that later. <laughs> PFI's been in the project a long time. He's coming fresh to the tactical torso target. Yeah, cool concept. Yeah, it is cool. Uh, that triangle is three inches. It's a tough hit. And it's actually a mini swinger plate on top. The bottom is a four by six inch swinger plate, and that that way you can see when you hit the critical areas nice. of the bad guy. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. What's the minimum distance they say on this one? 10 yards. 10 yards. 10 yards. So I might need to take a couple paces back. Yeah. Well, anytime I get the camera off you, I'll like do a scan on the scenery. Yeah. I'll look, you've already moved up usually about <laughs> three, right? Yeah. Three. Every every tactical advantage I can get. It's okay. It's Something games. about there's no fair fights. You call it gamesmanship, <laughs> I think. Uh, that torso portion right here, dudes, is uh, 13 inches by 24 inches. The target weighs about 60 pounds. You'll need a PT stand to slap it on. Uh, let me show you real quick how it bolts on here. Just like all the other static targets from Action Target. Uh, we splattered this stand pretty good with our long range rifle fire. These are great stands, they last forever. You will have to tighten these bolts up frequently. I use like grade eight fasteners on them. I get rid of uh, the zinc fasteners that come with it. They seem to be a little bit more durable. Uh, this is a little bit tricky getting these, these plates in. You'll figure it out though. The bar goes in first and then you'll put the swinger plate in. There's some footage of PFI, dude, putting the top one in. Well, that's it. Uh, now in shooting this, I have not had this stick nice. at all. They've been very reliable in swing. I think part of that is getting relatively level ground when you set it up there, PFI. I didn't even look at the ground, so we'll have to see how it works. It's canted a little bit towards the valley that we're in, but it should be good enough. All right. All right, so what gun are you going to start us off with, dude? TRR-8. Ah! Oh, finally reviewed that, PFI. I know, I still love it. Took me two and a half years to get to it. Let's I've... see your gun and your holster there. And they are hard to come by, is what you told me, Yes, right? they are. Yeah. Quite the waiting list. Cool. What holster is that? Uh, this is Safari Land holster. Paddle. Nice. Seems to work out pretty good for it. All right. This is the Action Target Tactical Torso. Little high, huh? That was low, I think. Was it? A little left on that one. That was a hit. There it is. It's a tough hit on top, Little isn't it? Little skinny hit, yeah. Where'd that one go? To the left. Pulled it. All right, your cameraman, I'm up. Sweet. My gun will be a Smith & Wesson Model 19 with Hogue grips, and I put some fluorescent paint on the front sight. What a gorgeous Smith & Wesson that is, dude. Beautiful. Just an awesome gun. All right, dude, your camera. Got it. I'm gonna do two cylinders and I'll do an XDM-9 on it. Is that hitting or Looks low? Looks like just to the right. There you go. Okay, so I'm shooting a little right. Nice. Let me do another cylinder on that. The tactical reload. Yeah, we're not speed loading it today. I mean, <laughs> there's no need to. No. And the thing with speed loaders, that's just all the more rounds you're gonna be shooting. Yep. Ammo's a little expensive these days. Yeah, hard to come by. This is all stash ammo I'm shooting out of. Me too. I can't even buy 38 Special FMJs from where I've been going.
Nice shooting. Thanks, brother. I X dig that target. That's fun. That's a cool target. It really is. And we have the advantage of not breathing heavy right now. Yeah. So if you roll that and drill. Oh, geez. And you could say, like on the top one, if you hit that, you get three points per hit. Right. Now, is this only, this would be a pistol or a rifle target if we ran it out further, right? Great point. Absolutely. You run out to 100 yards, that's your minimum distance on a rifle. You can do like That would be awesome. On it. I think I That'd be way fun. And it'd, it'd be a really good, uh, you know, sniper practice, like a hostage right. scenario where you have to hit the top. That'd be cool. You know, cranium area. Another day, another time. Yeah. The old XTM 9. Nice. Just love it. Great gun. Come a long way since that review. Yeah. Look how much more it's swinging than the 38 Special. Oh, yeah. That's odd. I'm shooting plus P's. Oh, okay. I'm kidding. I'm not. They're just normal. Yeah, it is swinging it more. Maybe you're just actually hitting it. There is that. <laughs> Yeah, that's got some authority hitting that plate. Now you'll notice as the paint wears off. That gets tough. It gets tough to see it. You know where it's set, but you can't see it, so you're going to have to respray it every now and again on the tactical torso. So, a little data point. Get In you field, a can of point. paint to go with your target. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Great target. It really is. Great target. Highly recommended. Let's go take a look at it. So if you go to shopactiontarget.com or you can go to actiontarget.com website and just go to the store, you'll see this under the reactive steel section. Use a nut and fancy discount code forever. It's been nut and fancy 15. Once in a while, we'll do a special 20% promotion here and there, but that's only like once per year. But the Nut and Fancy 15, thanks to Action Target, has been durable. So this is a $299 Target, and that is expensive. I'm not going to lie about that, uh, but I think it's worth it for what you're getting, and it, it wears forever. As long as you don't shoot it, you know, really close with a rifle or something, it dents it all up. So that's a. Uh, Tactical torso. Wicked. Wicked target, man. Awesome. Adding it into the drills here in the Net and Fancy project. We need to do like a bank robbery drill or something. I always have to be the bad guy and I just get tired of getting shot. Dude, we got those bolt guns we're reviewing. Why don't we use this? We can? I don't know if I could hit it though. I'm not that good. <laughs> That's a tough hit right there. It really is a That's tough a hit. Tough hit. We could do it. At 100 yards, we could do it. Painted it up. I'll, I'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. But okay. at, uh, beyond that, uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you're going to get some peripheral hits, like right around here. Mm-hmm. Which are still deadly, and that's actually a pretty small head area. Really, it is, yeah. This is really tiny. Tiny, you know. Sweet. Yuck. That's sweet, too. I don't know about that. See it. See ya. Tough shooting around it.
sound of it with that can. That's awesome.